Knowing how to assess the quality of a website is really important when you're doing link building. So let's use my freelance SEO site as an example and I'll show you my green list process, how I grade sites when trying to assess quality and some of the main things that you can look at in terms of knowing how to assess the quality of a site from a backlink perspective. So for example, we can go um, benchmark the traffic, um, where's the traffic coming from, um, has the site been affected by any of the recent algorithm updates, is the traffic on a downwards or an upwards trend, is the site owner active on social media, does the site link out to casino or forex, you know, any sort of grey niches, and if so, how many links, um, do they have casino posts on the homepage or any sort of suspect links on the homepage, um, does the site have lots of categories outside of its niche? So that's often quite a classic sign of a private blog network. And then you can sort of do some conditional formatting to grade the site based on those checks. So for example, this is my freelance site. Um, so over the last six months or so, fairly steady, if anything, a, an uptick in traffic over the last couple of months. I've got no anchors that are going out to casino or Forex. So you can check that in Ahrefs. Um, and I'm not as active as I could be on socials, uh, there's my pug, <laughs> um, but I am active on socials. So you're basically just trying to get a sense of whether a site is legitimate or not. And having this sort of green list process is a really good way of doing it and keeping track of, you know, just how legitimate a site actually is. And then you can decide whether you want to reach out for link building purposes.